How about you? Would you like to sit or you would take the stand? Would you give me a mic or I'm supposed to talk on wrong? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's very ungentlemanly of me. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to sit? Are you okay standing? Uh, if you want me to come on your height level, then I can sit. Or I can take a chair and stand. I can, you can do the same thing. Yeah, sure. No, 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 no. But, but, but come, 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 come. Uh, you know, I just want to ask you some few fun-filled questions, all in fun and jest. I don't know whether you know, whether you heard me, but I happen to be a stand-up comic. Oh, really? Yeah. How nice is that? Yeah. Sorry, if you don't mind me asking, uh, how old are you? Uh, I'm 48. 48? Yeah, 48. Isn't that a little too old for a stand-up comic? I mean, somebody please get a chair, yeah, for him. Should I get that for you? For me to sit down or for me to stand? Yeah, yeah I mean, stand-up comic at 48, I mean, don't you get tired? Uh, I do get tired, but it's uh, audiences like these and people who I host like you, which <laughs> keep me alive. You know, backstage was so much fun, but anyway, we'll talk about that some other. But, uh, you know, and listen, let me do the jokes here. Uh, you know, I am the comedian. Don't roast me. I'm supposed to sort of roast you. You're supposed to roast me? No, not really roast you. Just talk okay. to you. Just have some fun with you, yeah. I read you're an engineer. I mean, uh, we yes, just introduced am, yeah. you. have a degree in electronics and communication. Yeah. Wow. When did you pass out? 2011. Okay. You know, I'm also an engineer. See, we have so much in common. And I passed out in 1989. 89? Yeah. I think I was just born then. Seriously? Yeah. And you know, just let's stop making these old references. They, they already know I'm old. Just stop it, you know. But from an engineer to an actor, how did that happen? I'm sure you got this before. Oh my God. I've answered this question like some... 500 times since that I've come to this industry. But one second, what huh. do you mean engineer to actor? How did it happen? The, if you can become a stand-up comedian after doing B.Tech, huh. I can't become an actor. I mean, at least I'm doing better in my life, you know. Am I? <laughs> stop roasting me. Please stop roasting me. Am I doing me. better in my life? Yeah, I you think agree? she deserves yeah. an applause for that answer. <laughs> Are you guys, are you guys, are you guys dead or something? Yeah? Can you get some more energy? We're having a fun thing here. Actually, you want to leave the cameras. Sir, stop the camera on the phone, sir. You know, stand-up comedy events are very much like sex. Best enjoyed life. Uh, most guys, when they check out women, obviously go for the obvious things like the big soft eyes or the inner beauty. Let me ask you, when you check out men, what do you look at? Big soft eyes and inner beauty? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Firstly, you tell me, how do you check out inner beauty? I want to know that. See, most of us guys have x-ray visions. Re I I'm See, really scared if you have that right now. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me, seriously, what do, you, what do you check out when you look at a guy? I mean, what do you... Uh, uh, firstly, height. Obviously. Aadhi to ladke waise hi disqualify ho jate hai jab height kam hoti. Haan ji. Or, uh, um, eyes, actually eyelashes. Seriously, why eyelashes? I don't know. I just, I just have this thing for eyelashes. So I guys, like guys with pretty eyelashes. So guys, stop going to the gym. Go to a beauty parlor. <laughs> and there are a lot of other things. I mean, you can actually see what all I'm checking out in all these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're checking out guys here. Girls will be girls, you know? Yeah. That's me in that white trousers there, but that's okay. That, no, it was shot recently, not like 50 years back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Short <laughs> years, yes. But tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Stop listening to me again. What's your survival mantra for girls who often feel pressurized to behave in the way that society wants them to? A beautiful, deep question. Can you repeat that? What is your survival mantra for girls who often feel pressurized to behave in the way that society wants them to? What do you mean by survival mantra? I mean, am I like this endangered species that I'm going to die and there's not going to be another girl in the world that I have to survive? You have to survive. Uh, yeah, I'm married. You have to survive in this world. Yeah, I'm married. I have to survive so I'm for my wife. I'm not even married. Huh? I'm not even married. I know that. I know that. Firstly, this, that question only kind of answered yeah, the thing. Actually, yeah, why, yeah. why survival? <coughs> Secondly, uh, as far as pressurized, uh, I don't set rules for you. I don't set rules for people. So then I don't expect people to set rules for me. Uh, and uh, I think if girls just start questioning from the basic level, Whatever you are asked not to do, just ask why not. I think half the problem, half the things will start getting cleared from there. That makes really good sense. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for that lovely answer. Okay, last question. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Yeah, sometimes. 
which character do you like arya stark or sansa stark oh ah. so just before that people who don't know game of thrones it's like an epic just like the mahabharata it's actually more of mahabharata and kama sutra combined just for people so yes 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 which characters did you say sorry sorry uh, uh, which? which character do you like arya stark or sansa stark actually none of them i i really like khaleesi My i think too. uh she's confident she's uh, smart she's she was actually mistaken earlier and then oh, she yeah? turned yeah? her whole life and she's uh, emerged out as someone who's uh, breaking through and she's and she's conquering seven kingdoms and looking like a million bucks yeah absolutely and yes she has the dragons oh yes we forgot so, yeah. the dragons we forgot the dragons and uh, now quickly very quickly you know quick questions i want your top of the mind answers ready for it okay is that like a rapid fire uh, yeah sort of do you all have yeah, like a hamper i don't want to use karan joe's word so it's my rapid uh, thing sneakers <laughs> okay, or stilettos uh actually chappals but if you ask out of them sneakers i don't need stilettos i'm really i mean if i can go back to my <laughs> sneakers right now it'll be great okay <laughs> I'll also come to your a little above your level. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We know that. Stop roasting me again. Uh, online shopping or shopping in malls, Kriti? Both, yeah. Shopping, shopping, and are you giving me your card? It doesn't matter then. No, I'm not giving. I'm a Sindhi. I don't give my card. <laughs> oh, Sindhis don't give their card. Don't give. We don't have a card only. <laughs> I use my mother-in-law's mother-in-law's card every time. Okay, f- minis or maxis? Since we're a fashion show, minis or maxis? Minis. I've got good legs, so I can flaunt them. Ah, of course, of course. I'm completely being immodest here. Yeah, 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 you have to be. Let your guard down. Fashion for you in one word. One word. Just one word. If I can use two. Yeah, please. Constantly changing. I think it's it's never the same. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 I think. I think the crowd is just mesmerized looking at you. So no, I think you, you need to just get better at your job. Probably. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah. a uh, candlelight dinner with someone special or girls night out candlelight dinner with someone special or girls night out night out with the candlelight dinner boy <laughs> well, i don't think i'll sleep tonight thinking of the answer your fashion fetish kriti um well it's actually i mean any number of clothes are not enough i think especially uh for girls i'm sure a lot of them will agree uh but recently i think i think i have a fetish for sunglasses oh, wow yeah i am realizing it slowly okay <laughs> very good kala chashma obviously uh men in suits or guys in jeans um i think he should I'm be in a suit just kidding guys in jeans <laughs> <laughs> and last question last question very cliche very cliche are you good with directions Are you good with directions? Yeah. No, I'm not, but I'm an engineer and I'm super with technology and I have Google Maps. So yeah. That's a lovely answer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause to Kriti. Thank you Kriti. Thank you so much. That was over Thank and you. I think you, you so won. Much. You